Awake. 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 What if I told you that our world was sleepwalking? Going through each day in a pattern. In a cycle. Just as dimly lit as before. And the sleepwalkers? They saw nothing wrong. Because it's all they've it's ever. It's all they've ever. All they ever know. Living under a veil of darkness that leaves them wandering, lost, broken, hopeless, helpless, bitter, and empty. And calling that home. Crushed under the weight of expectations. Trying to navigate life in the dark. Trying to find what's real. Trying to find themselves. Trying and trying. And trying. And trying. And trying. And always falling short. Because the sleepwalkers, they're trying to look at the world with unopened eyes. But when the darkness finally gets to be too much, and the sleepwalker recognizes that on their own, they are unable. And their pride breaks apart. Crying out, God help me. I can't do this on my own. I can't even, can't even, can't even come close. That's when the sleepwalker starts to awake. Starts to realize there's so much more. There's so much more. There's so much more to the world than living. Starts to realize that because Jesus, literally God, came to this world as a human being. And though he himself had never sinned, willingly chose to take the death penalty. In our place. In our place. And because he could not be kept in death. But came back to life. Having defeated darkness. He restored the light. And he set us free. He set us free. And he set us free to choose that light. I know because that sleepwalker, that sleepwalker, so that sleepwalker was me. Was me. Was me. It was me. That's why awake is not just a passive state of being, but an active command, a decision every day to make your way through life, trying on your own to navigate darkness or to let go and allow God to wake you up. To ask him to consume everything you do. Even when everything we face surrounds us in darkness. And live continuously in his life. To me. To me. To me. To me. Being awake in Christ means passionately living with His internal life. Seeing what's real. Living abundantly. It means to be strong. Knowing that I am loved and that I am called to love others. I'm not alone. Trusting His will. Being finally fulfilled. Ephesians 5.14 Awake, O sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light.